the boy. I just been so stressed up. Hi y'all, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. I've really been missing my like hour long home vlogs that are just cozy and obviously really going through it right now. I've not been, you know, in the best space, but I really do miss vlogging and I feel like it's okay. I can still, you know, get some clips together. When I'm feeling a little bit better and wanna vlog, it's a nice distraction for me. There's so many like home things that I just wanna film and I feel like it'll be fun. Anyways, um, if y'all are new here, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Today's actually a Friday. I just got back from my workout and I got a little bit ready. I mean, I look kind of crazy because I did my brows and like lip product and I like don't actually have makeup on, so I'm looking a little wild. But we have some meetings this morning and then I'm hoping to just have like a chill day at home. I feel so weird talking to a camera. I don't know why I like, feel so uncomfortable. I've literally been doing this for 10 years, so. Anyways, um, guys, I don't know if y'all saw, but I got this new coffee maker. Molly inspired me and she told me that I needed to get it. So I'm kind of obsessed. It's beautiful, makes a whole pot of coffee. I mean, obviously you can, why am I explaining a coffee pot to you guys? It makes a whole pot of coffee. Anyways, I'm gonna make some coffee this morning. I think I'm gonna use these beans. They're the hazelnut blend. Macy and Molly sent me a different like Chamberlain coffee, coffee beans. And then I have this the grinder that I just got on Amazon. I'll link it on my storefront because it just like matches a little bit better. I will say the coffee tastes absolutely incredible here. Like so good. I've also been kind of getting into the Smartless podcast. I've listened to a bunch this morning. Got our new house guest mugs. They're so cute. Our new merch is so good, y'all. I'll also link it below, but it's possibly my favorite merch we've come out with. It is amazing. I just finished my meetings. This new lens, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, how do you guys feel about it? I have another one that I could use. I wanted to give y'all a little update on some needlepoint projects, and I just realized that one of these is this gift. So I can really only show you one, but I finished one canvas. It's gonna be really cute. I'll eventually show you guys when I gift it. I also got this little spicy Marg needlepoint project. As y'all know, I have been needlepointing up a storm. One thing about me is that I'm going to obsess over my newest hobby. And the issue is that I'm not like dropping hobbies. I'm just like adding them as they go. And that is driving me crazy, but it's my pool cleaner and I didn't want it to ruin my hardware force. Anyways, I've been working on this very cute and then i'll take it in my room and show you the one that i've really been working on i only started this one because i took it with me to vegas obviously i was literally needle pointing in vegas so that shows you guys why i'm at life also ignore this this is not styled these are just like random things i've put here but look i got nancy drew books from the antique store do you guys remember when i would vlog like truth or drinks and be like blackout yeah, me too. <gasps> Guys, when I go to Stagecoach, maybe I should make the girls home a truth or drink. Anyways, growing up, I would also have to go antique shopping with my mom and my grandma, and I hated it, and they would bribe me with Nancy Drew books. I was clearly a crazy, wild kid, and I read every single Nancy Drew book, and I loved them. So I got them just, you know, for the memes. Okay, but just wait until you guys see what I've been working on. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen it. This canvas, it is so perfect. It's obviously gonna take so long like this. It's just like when you have like a lot of background, you have to like really be in the mood. To just do backgrounds because like obviously doing the hens is like fun but i'm gonna frame this in my kitchen just because it's nostalgic growing up with like hens in your kitchen i said this on tiktok recently i was like i just grew up with like hens everywhere in my house and there were comments of like oh my god like i'm a city girl kenzie i have no idea like i meant like the wallpaper hens i meant like early 2000s hens were everywhere in decor i didn't mean like literal hens in my house I didn't grow up like that. Like, I wish we had drink it. It didn't happen. So anyways, I just think it's gonna be really cute and like nostalgic and fun for the kitchen. And then I have this project bag. All my project bags are 
Penny, let, let me give y'all a little garden update. This is what I am the most excited for in life. Another thing we're gonna have to tackle soon will be some spring cleaning of this closet because it is not cold anymore. And in the cold months, I didn't leave my house because I was so depressed and I still am. So anyways, I really try not to make these vlogs dramatic, but like, I don't know, something that is kind of bothering me is people being like, oh my God, you seem like you're like doing so much better. And it's like, I'm obviously not doing better. It's only been two months. Like I just, you just still have to like operate and do things. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I think it just like makes other people more comfortable with the fact like they feel better that like they think I am like healed. I don't know. It's like so weird. Anyways, these are going to be good escapes. I'm not going to be negative the whole time. I swear. But I am going to need to do some uh, spring cleaning here. But I need to go take a little thumbnail picture for my garden video that I'm really excited for. It's already up if y'all are watching this. This outfit is kind of everything. Imagine if I was just walking back and I walked into the pool. It's kind of giving like Martha Stewart, you know? I love a vest. So anyways, we are in the backyard now. The pool, I have been cleaning this up a storm. Let me tell you, <gasps> guys. We need to talk about something that just happened to me very recently. Like, it's hard for me to talk about, but I, I've really taken about like a week to really stew on it, to really think about it. And I think I'm ready to share my story with you because it was so horrible. Here is the garden update. Things are looking great, okay? I'm going to fertilize soon. It's really bothering me that these rocks go everywhere. Like I need a broom back here or something, but also I know I have extra, I, I'm still not done. Like I, I know I have so many garden beds. These are not even all of them. How I can get more? I wish I had a greenhouse. Like I just have the gardening bug, the green thumb if you will. Well, we're not actually quite sure about that yet, but anyways, my mom got me like a little, cute little like memorial stone too. So every time I see that I cry, but anyways, I haven't moved this stuff yet, mainly cause it's just heavy. And I am going to do a lot of hydrangeas around the pool. Thankfully, um, my pool is actually weirdly very shaded and other plants were kind of hard to keep alive around here. So I think hydrangeas, I'm thinking like broadleaf cause I know they're better in this climate. I'm hoping will work, but hydrangeas are my favorite just cause they remind me of Nantucket. I am going very soon, by the way. Am I actually, by the time this vlog goes up, I might be there. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more stuff. My pots are always from at home. At home was like my favorite place for pots. There's just nothing that compares to it. Update on the turf. I'm so glad I got turf, like seriously. I put so much work into this yard just for my grass to always look horrible. And like, listen, I prefer real grass too, but like, I don't have time to like, you know, keep that alive all the time. It's just too difficult. So anyways, that is what we have in the garden currently. Okay, so here's my cut flower garden. Things have definitely looked better. The sunflowers are growing. I'm having some drama with the rabbits or the rats, I don't know. They keep digging things up. And you know what? I've about had it with them. I can't even talk about it, it makes me sick. I need y'all to picture this and picture me just minding my own business, cleaning my pool when I was having a rough Sunday. I was out here cleaning because it's very therapeutic to me. I'm standing here and all of a sudden my phone somehow, like most of the time, it won't even fit down this, right, okay? It somehow perfectly falls, perfectly, and it falls there, okay? I'm sitting here, you might be able to see, I was trying to saw it somewhere. It's not very obvious because I didn't get very, so. <laughs> Can't wait to have kids. Um, actually, I like crazy baby fever right now. Okay, so I'm sitting out here, or I'm cleaning, I'm doing all this, I was already having a bad day, and I'm like listening to Smart List, I'm like minding my own business, I'm having this really peaceful time in my backyard, because my backyard is, is truly a magical oasis. Like, I love being back here, and it falls down, and I'm like, oh my god, and it's the week that we were launching the bit, and I have all this content I hadn't edited yet that was on my phone, and couldn't be anywhere else. So at this point, like, I'm like, I can't do anything, because the crawl space over there is like where my pool filter is and I wasn't strong enough to move the pool filter. I'm like calling my dad and calling everyone. I'm like, I don't know what to do, blah, 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 whatever. Um, and then I hire, I order a saw. I order like a pick rubber thing. I order like everything I possibly can. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh my God, I can't get it through. Like I'm trying everything and it's impossible. I try it for two hours. I'm trying to like saw the wood open. I'm trying to do like quite literally everything. And then um, I finally realized like the only way to get this stuff is if I like try to move the pool filter. So I go and I like move the pool filter filter barely and I get myself all the way up there um, and I have to crawl as it had just rained and I just showered might I add um, and I have to crawl under there and I get like claustrophobic and things like that like I wouldn't say I'm like a very claustrophobic sort of gal but I feel like anyone would get claustrophobic there and it was like terrifying it was really horrible I got my phone back um, but yeah it was a pretty bad thing so this deck one me zero
honestly need to do an entire TikTok on my stock tank pool. Now it's all dusty because I just cleaned it and it looks gross, but we're working on it. I didn't clean it for a couple months, so we've just been, we've been, you know, really working on this. But best decision I ever made, I got mine from Stock Tank Love. I paid for it. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the company. We built the deck out around it. Those chairs are article. And yeah, I'm just saying this now because I didn't get mine until September last year. So I wish I had it all summer. This summer I will be living in this pool and it is a way cheaper alternative than getting an actual pool. I'll make a whole TikTok on it with like questions and stuff. Highly recommend. Normally they'll have like 10, so it technically looks cooler, like it looks nicer, but this whatever material I forget, this pool is, lasts longer. So I was actually responsible and I got the one that lasts longer versus the one that looks better and I still think it looks pretty great. So I love this thing. Highly recommend if y'all are in Texas and like thinking maybe a pool, you can get a smaller one and just do the pool. There's ways, like it's it's a way cheaper version of a pool, obviously, but it's fully filtered. Like it's actually legitimately like a pool. It's just obviously smaller. It's not that deep. I can sit in it and like my hair will get wet. So I like that just to give you like a little idea of the depth. But anyways, mine's 10 by 10, I think. And it is the best thing ever. Another huge life update. I actually made my first purchase from Mackenzie Childs because they came out with this colorway and I obviously had to have it immediately. So I got the tea kettle, which is the cutest thing ever. The little spoon holder and then the utensil holder. I would like to have more things. I want the strainer, like it's just so cute. And I love this stuff. It doubles as decor. I mean, obviously that is decor, but like the tea kettle, like you want this out all the time. And it's just perfect. I'm really focusing on bringing in like a lot of old vintage antique pieces to mix this house with like old and new because the actual house itself obviously is like built very modern, but I want it to be cozier. So we're working with what we have thawing out some stuff and cooking soon but this is just kind of random like things are put together but i like the look like this was supposed to be an accident and i just have never moved it and i actually really like it so um yeah i'm just bringing in a lot of like older stuff into the newer space making it cozier the dining room is a mess because i'm actually in the middle of redoing a lot of stuff so don't mind that i've been buying frames at antique stores like non-stop because they're just cheaper they're cooler they have more character well really i wanted to do like a really big like four foot by six foot frame and frame things that had sentimental value or were cute, like movie stubs and newspapers my family's been in and things like that. Like my dad played sports when he was younger. Like just stuff like that to make it very personal. I cannot find a frame that's big enough and I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing that. I do wanna do a fr uh, plate wall, so I might actually do that there. My original thought was to do it on this wall. I got this frame and this is like the first one that I'm thinking for the plate wall, so I've gotta find a bunch more. I was thinking like here would be cute and simple, but now I'm like, maybe I do it in the dining room. Would it be weird if I did a plate wall on one side and then a gallery wall on the next? I'm not like a huge gallery wall person, but I feel like it could be cute and cozy and I would change a lot of the prints. I would keep the frames by the way. Um, but I got these chairs. Someone sent them to me and you're like, oh my God, they're so you. And they're $300 for two on TJ Maxx. So I got them, loved them, and I got two more. These are gonna go on the side and then these are gonna be the end table chairs so that I'm gonna keep all of these chairs so I can switch them out very easily and just kind of like keep this room current, switch it out for a dinner party, just like whatever I'm feeling. Um, so I'll probably set the other two chairs up today. They just been in a box and been waiting to vlog. It's just a work in progress. We'll see. Coco stroller over here actually an amazing buy. I don't I don't regret that at all. It's been like the best thing for her because of her IVDD. She can't walk, um, but she's living a very happy life. So we've got that all covered. Anyways, I need to finish all of this. And then over here, I just turned these lights off this morning. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. That was so fast. These grew literally in the past four hours. I was just here this morning. I started seeding some new things, okay? Um, I just can't be stopped. It's so peaceful. Like, there's nothing I love more than being at this potting bench and then I'll play like Homeworthy or something on that TV or play a podcast, open my garage door, and then I just get to work. Like, it is just absolutely incredible. So, anyways, this is what we've got going right now. We've got some lettuce, some Swiss chard, some uh, winter squash, some carrots. Spinach, cucumber, celery. I just like am interested to see what how celery does. Zucchini, kale, lettuce again. Um, lettuce grows pretty quickly, but yeah, we're just trying out new things. I wish I had like a hundred garden beds. I would like genuinely really love that. And it really is like a part-time job, honestly, but I'm really loving it. And it's bringing me a lot of joy these days. So I did start seeding some new stuff. I have no idea where it's gonna go, if it's even gonna fit. Like we're gonna figure that out later. That is not my problem right now, you know? 
yeah, I'm going to let these sit for a bit. And then I won't forget to harden next time, even though I luckily got... I'm fine right now. So, anyways. It's just nice to have some things going constantly. This skirt I'm obsessed with. It's just the best thing ever. My grandma made it for me to make my garage a lot prettier. In an ideal dream world, I would have this all taken out and then have, like, a storage, like, cabinets or something built up here. But, you know, we'll just see. I'm not made out of money. So, we're gonna see how all that goes. I'm not sure if y'all have seen the hosting closet updates. There have been some big updates. Don't mind the fact that the wallpaper is, you know, kind of doing some things there. It's none of my business, okay? I need to replace these lights. They're so ugly and they're ruining the vibe of the closet. I come in here all the time. We have obviously a lot of dinner cards, the bit cards. I will get these out sometimes if people come over to dinner. Y'all haven't gotten these. If you want like a girls night card, get these. If you want like standard great cards to just like bring to dinner, gender neutral, like whatever, get these. But they're just amazing. I think you need all of them. I use them all the time. We just have a bunch of stuff up here and then I love the cookbook wall that I did recently. These are just from Ikea. I know I like went into this on my like recent vlog, but I just, I'm so obsessed in case you guys missed it. I love it so much. And then I love this wallpaper. And then I'm ideally going to do a gallery wall on um, this wall of all the things that I've hosted and just keep framing as time goes on. I really want to work with Framebridge for that and just do stuff with them. Um, but I'm probably going to use, you know, like vintage frames and stuff as well. That's why I originally started getting the vintage frames and then I decided I was using them for my house. So anyways, love that. Fitz is just not real. Like this is how he sits. I went on a run the other day. Yes, I have started running. By that I mean I went on one run this week and he was just sitting here waiting for me the whole time. But look at him. He's just so perfect. He currently has a hot spot. He's supposed to be wearing a comb, but he hasn't been itching at his hot spot like literally at all. So I only have him wear it whenever I leave, but he's just the most handsome, perfect dog that has ever existed. You too, Coco, you are so stunning. I'm gonna make a little recipe that I saw on Instagram the other day, and I've just been craving it ever since. I immediately wrote it down in my recipe journal. Normally, I will like cook it and then see if I like it, and then we'll make it into the recipe journal. But we have the creamy feta and roasted red pepper chicken and cauliflower. So this is from Gathered Nutrition. I didn't even think about the fact that it's healthy. It just looked good. Um, also, I'm going to eat it with pita bread. Just everything about this looks fabulous. I really am, you know, a southern girl at heart. And I ran out of mason jars for my, like, iced coffee. But I also just, like, drink everything in mason jars. So this is a really, really big cup for my iced coffee like really large but honestly it's probably what i drink in a day anyways these came from amazon and i'm excited about them anyways this looks so good i'm filming a like recipe tiktok so if y'all want like that video screenshot this for the ingredients and the directions it's so simple so easy i'm really excited i think this is gonna be like a go-to because it just sounds so good and then it's a Friday night I really don't feel like going anywhere so I am going to be staying in tonight even though I don't know I was maybe gonna go somewhere I don't know I I don't think so so I'm gonna shower wash my hair read I've been rereading Magnolia Parks which is my comfort series my favorite book series ever also, one of my like really good, amazing close friends, Jessa, is the author. She's been on the podcast a billion times if you guys haven't listened. But I've been rereading it just as my, my comfort read. And I, I read Into the Dark with the last one forever ago. But I only got one that was like up to like 70%. So I wanted to wait until like everyone else got the book so I can like be a part of the like, you know, Magnolia Park's lore, if you will. So I need to finish that today, and I just don't want to. It's one of those books that they're all so long, but like I never want them to end, so I don't mind how long they are. Like I, I'm just gonna have to start from, the, from scratch. Start over again, you know?
just so we're all aware, this was incredible. I haven't even eaten the whole thing and it smells amazing, it looks amazing. This is so good. I have showered, I dried my hair around my wefts in case anyone tries to tell my sister I didn't. I know that I have extensions. If you guys don't know, it's like you have to dry your wefts or else your extensions go bad. It is 5.15 on a Friday night and I'm going to need a point and switch my laptop's over. I had to get a new laptop because this one is just so slow. I mean, it's three years old now. It's not, I mean, the newest thing, I guess. I don't know how often you're supposed to be replacing MacBooks, but I was gonna do a cute unboxing. Not that like anyone cares. They're literally all the same thing. Like, I remember when I was young, I like always wanted the new iPhone. Like that was like so exciting. And now I like really could not tell you what iPhone I have, what iPhone we're on. Like they're all the same, you know? Wow, I now you can pick colors of laptops and that really stressed me out. So I just went with the color that I have. Like I know you can get like the darker ones. Is the darker color better? I don't know. Just seems literally like the exact same laptop I have. The exact same shape, everything about it. It is the same. So I'm going to transfer over my laptop tonight and get some needle pointing done. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday, like noon. Hello, Fitzy. I had a coffee a couple hours ago. This is literally the size of my face. Obviously doing a face mask. I just made myself some lunch. My dad came over to help me with some hot stuff. And I've been working from my bed all morning on a friend of mine's stuff. Very, very exciting things happening. Yesterday, I went out and I did something social in Dallas for the first time in two months. And it was honestly really fun. And I had a good time and I saw my friends. We played the bit card game. If y'all don't have the bit, you need to get it. It's limited edition, so we don't even have restock plans or anything right now. Right now. Like I would get it now. Also, by the way, I have new merch. So all this will be on the screen so y'all can get up to date. I just reheated that soup that I made the other day. It's so good the recipe is on my instagram really just amazing i might fertilize the garden today i might do some things i wasn't planning on vlogging but i'm being a little chatty i was hoping that macy was gonna come over so we could needlepoint and i'm trying to just get stuff done so being a little it's like a chill relaxing productive sunday my house is a mess right now but that just is none of my business so i'm wearing the dairy boy set the sweats i got um in a large just because i normally like sweats like really big and large but i feel like they just already had like an oversized fit so like they're just too big i probably should have actually gotten a medium i'm actually a medium so anyways updates that's pretty much it i need to take this she mask off wow all right we're gonna take a little break from work and unbox the next two chairs of these so anyways i'm gonna unbox these two and then figure this out my other issue is I just have so many frames, like I really need my mom to come and I would like to just hang them and then get prints afterwards. I also really need to go like antiquing for some other cute plates. So maybe if I have time this week, I will go thrifting a little bit because I really do want like a plate wall. I wanna just make it very personal, very cozy um, and get this stuff going. I thought I was going to be able to fertilize today, but it's going to pour again tonight, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. But I got all this raised bed plant food. I haven't really done anything like that on my raised beds yet. These like miracle grow feeders to attach to my hoses. I have another hose to set up. These are the things that I look forward to, but like there's really nothing like working on your yard. Like now I feel like my mom working in my yard, picking up weeds, doing all that, like it's just truly the best. I also got this shelf. Oh my god, it's really heavy. I do not want to set this up myself. So that'll be done eventually, but it's just this silver shelf that I'm going to use for my seating station. So that's going to go in the garage. I might as well just move it out there now. But the idea is that I can connect some grill lights there and then um, just add my seating trays. It's going to be great, I think. Guys, when you just become a serial hobbyist like me, it honestly, it gets overwhelming because when am I going to have time to do all of my hobbies? I really have time to do all the things I need to do anyways. And now, like I have so many hobbies that I need to do in between like gardening and just needlepointing alone, I have no time to read. And I used to read so much and I've really not read 
as much as I used to. I um, really never watch TV. It's just not like my thing. But I do love a good documentary. And this week I actually watched the Dynasty, the New England Patriots doc on I think Apple TV. And it was so good. I actually really liked it. But I really liked watching it even as an adult. And like honestly, controversial opinion, like Bill Belichick is kind of like a strategist. Like he kind of, you know, they want for a reason. Was it ethical? You know, who's to say? Probably not. But football is a game of strategy, okay? So honestly, justice for Bill Belichick. It really is just like a crazy thing to watch. I mean, the Patriots are just such a fascinating team during that, during the dynasty at least, because there's so much going on, there's Aaron Hernandez of it all, like it was just so much happening. And then I watched um, Quiet on Set, and it just made me sick. Like it's so disgusting. That's the one of the Nickelodeon stuff, if you guys haven't watched it, I watched it on, I think, HBO Max, but it is just, like I was like sick to my stomach, and like, I don't know, like it was, a re it was honestly like a really hard watch. Like it was just so gross and sad and the fact that like Brian Peck worked again is really insane like it's just really, really really sad it makes me so sad too just thinking about like Amanda Bynes and like I don't know it's just really horrible um what those kids went through and it's wild too because when you're young like your dream you know is to be well, well at least like I feel like everyone like secretly wants to be on Nickelodeon or Disney or whatever and like to know what they were at like what was actually going on was just really sad so that and I liked it better the way before it needs to have something at the end of that so now I'm like do I order two more chairs like this or like what should I do I don't know I'm keeping these cream ones anyways because I am gonna go back to how I had it originally especially around like the holidays and just kind of when I get tired of this but now it looks weird this way so I don't know, I don't know what to do. I just laid this stuff out here. It's not really what's gonna happen, it's just the thing that could actually fit. To start getting an idea, I am gonna replace some of this art. Fitz is really wanting attention right now. If I even touch my phone, he hits me with his head. He is such a doodle. Do you an idea? But I don't know, part of me is like, do I hate gallery walls? Like, am I so over those? Is it gonna be too much to have the plates and the gallery wall? I don't know. I really, really don't know. So, okay, just watch this. Good boy. Okay, and then he normally hits my hand up. Like, he's not doing it now because he knows he's being filmed. But he'll, like, actually hit it, like, aggressively. Like, he'll go, like, under and push it. It's so cute, Fitz. You're so cute, Fitzy. It's dark out here right now, but I will say, my sunflowers are definitely growing a ton. Oh, look who it is again. Hello. Okay. I got seeds, um, the same pack that I got from Epic Gardening for this cut flower garden. And I'm just gonna plant them straight right out here and just see what happens. Because I obviously can have a lot more flowers in here. But... I don't know, we'll see. I did the chaos gardening and it's already coming up. I'll show y'all. We've got some rabbit or some rats or something happening here because look guys, like there, oh my gosh, it makes me so angry. But anyways, I did the chaotic gardening method. If y'all watched my garden video, actually it wasn't even that video, my TikTok. Basically you just throw them all, all the seeds in a bowl, mix it up, and then you just like sprinkle it into your soil. It's exactly what you think like when you just think like planting seeds, um, but like not seriously. If this becomes the better cut flower garden after I just did all those seedlings in there, I will die. But honestly, I mean, that would be great for me. So we're just gonna try all this, see how it comes up. I wanna say I planted these about 
two weeks ago now probably um so I don't know we'll see it would be really pretty if it really works out my backyard is just like this peaceful oasis that I love and the weather has actually been really good here minus the storms I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner it feels actually like so good Ugh, before the storm. I really should have gone on a walk today, but I'm not doing that now. I keep ordering burgers from Hudson House. Hudson House is the best. If you, How are their plants growing through my rock? They're just literally they're the best burgers ever, so I might get that. I don't know. I really want to learn how to make them. I don't know. It's one of those days where I'm like really overwhelmed because I was going through a bunch of work stuff and like trying to like organize it, but it's just a lot like separately. More on like the friend of mine and that there's just a lot of things happening that I'm really excited for. But, um, I think it's just, like, it's overwhelming in general, but, like, especially in, like, the state that I'm in, so. Anyways, getting all that together. I haven't even started needle pointing today, and it's 5 p.m. I thought I was going to need to point through the day. That didn't happen, so. Whatever. Okay, hi y'all, good morning. It is freezing outside. For some reason I insisted on reading outside this morning. I saw a TikTok. Oh my god, I'm like literally gonna stop. I'm, I'm like a rescue TikTok right now, just like dog TikTok in general. And I saw a TikTok saying every 56 days is the year of your dog's life. And I was like, oh my god, I like, like literally as if I want more things to think about right now like that. But anyways, I already spend literally 24-7 with my dogs. Like even when I go to my dad's house, which is like pretty much the only place I go right now, I bring them. I bring the stroller, I pack it up, like I'm like they're always with me. But I wanted Fitz to have a little fun playing around, and he wasn't really running around this morning. I think he was just tired, so. Anyways, oh, I was reading the Imagine Heaven book I talked about in, like, my grief vlogs. Um, and I stopped reading it just because it was feeling, like, a little bit more overwhelming. Also, by the way, I finished, well, okay, I, like, reread the last Magnolia Parks book because I read it, Jesse gave me the draft, but I didn't have, like, the last 30% of it, and I didn't want the last 30% until it, like, came out and everyone else read it. Um, and that was just, I mean, the best book I've ever read in my life. Like, there's just no series, like the Magnolia Park series. And I, yesterday, was just work, 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 working away. Um, and I'm going to do a top 50 books that I've read in the past couple years out of, like, 500 books. And, obviously, the series is, like, top of mind. This isn't going to be depressing, don't worry. But I was reading the book, and it talked about Ben Breedlove. And I don't know if y'all, like, grew up on YouTube like I did. But growing up, I, like, idolized Megan Parkin. I, I mean, I still love Megan Parkin. But this was, like, one of the first YouTubers that I watched. And she would always post about Ben Breedlove, which was, like, one of her best friends. And he passed away at least 10 years ago now. I think I was 14 or 15 when this happened. And I just remember always watching their videos and then watching her videos on, like, grief and stuff. And it was just, like, very impactful for me. And then it got, like, his video went viral. And he had, like, an NDE a week before he passed and, like, all this stuff. 
And he was mentioned in the book, and I guess the author, whoever was telling the story, was his pastor and like really close family friend. So anyway, something about that was like, it was a comforting to read like a familiar story in a way. And it's cool that like I'm still hearing about Ben like so many years later. I messaged uh, Megan about it just because I was like, it is really, really cool. So anyways, today is, we are work, work, working away. I've got meetings starting here in about an hour. And then I'm recording two podcast episodes. I've got to shoot a Jacobas and Base deal, guys, for Stagecoach. Like, name a better deal for me. When you guys see this on Instagram, go crazy, okay? Jacobas, as you know, my favorite boot brand. My Probably my favorite brand, period. They're literally all over my closet room and house. Um, and then Base has that new brown color the maple color um and i was literally online trying to buy it because it's been out of stock like everywhere that morning and then it was out of stock and then i got an email from base for this partnership and i was like ha, perfect say no more so anyways gotta shoot that but i'm picking out two outfits i already had them picked out but i wasn't like so excited about them um for recording today i keep wanting to wear this red sweater by the way this is from daily drills and it is the best like little cardigan sweater. I want it in every single color, but I've already worn it for my merch shoot, which by the way, guys, pick up your house guest merch. It's very cute. Um, so I feel like I can't wear it again and all this stuff that's because we do like uh, actual photos and stuff for it. But I have all these really cute clothes that I've been planning for Stagecoach, like this skirt. Abercrombie skirts, there's nothing better. Maybe I'll make a TikTok about it. And this is navy. I'm so into navy right now. And I need navy suede cowboy boots, like so bad. Thing is, like, Lucchese is a pair, and I'm a Jehovah's girl. But Lucchese does have the blue suede. So I don't know if they're gonna be wide calf enough. I might, like, go try them on or something. Because, like, these with blue suede boots, like, there's literally nothing better. So, oh, and. I don't know if I've shown you guys this either. I guess I'm just showing you all of my stuff. This is from Cezanne. Like, look at how cute this denim vest is. In a perfect ideal world, I would wear this, but I've already worn this for a podcast episode. Like, I know that's dumb, but I'm trying to, like, not wear the same things. Also, I just got invited to this thing this morning. It was, like, something with Sam Edelman and, like, with actually, it's, like, Sam, uh, Sam Edelman. Sam Edelman are my favorite shoes ever. Like, I have more Sam Edelman. Like, right here, like, here alone. Let's look at this rack. Sam. Sam, those were Sam, but someone's borrowing them. Sam, 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 um, Sam, okay, my favorite little kitten heel, like there's nothing like it. And then over here, there's so many more Sam things. Like these are so cute. They're giving Chanel, they're giving Rich Girl, they're giving, you know, but not those things, just it's what they're giving. I wore these um, wedding dress shopping for my cousin. And they're the cutest shoes ever. But anyways, it's her wedding. So unfortunately, Sam, we won't be meeting. But that was exciting. I just got ready here is my hair it'll fall as time goes on and then I did my makeup my meetings are starting in 25 minutes I need to get dressed and then I wanted to give you a little needlepoint update not much has been done on this which is interesting for some reason I just like really liked doing smaller projects which I'm normally a big project sort of girl with the little projects because I'm doing a home tour for something very exciting I just keep thinking about how I want them like in my home tour one of them i can't show you but i'm like pretty much done with it because it's a gift for my dad and i just like can't risk him seeing it but i'm almost done with this spicy mark i did like all this last night and i just need to do around here and i'm gonna do a light pink and i'm gonna frame this one i did think about making it into an ornament but this just like needs to go i think like in my hosting closet or in the kitchen or something and then this one like has to be done and framed in my kitchen before my home tour it's a recipe card. Like, I can't believe that I don't have this for a friend of mine. So, anyways, I am going to write a blog post that will be up by the time. I'll link it below 
on how to get into needlepoint. So like I'm linking some ones that I think are good to start with from my favorite stores and then like how to start. It's really not difficult if you start with the continental stitch. That's still the only stitch that I know today. It's a very simple, simple craft. Maybe I'll go into it in a vlog at some point. I've been getting video requests, but I feel like that's just like too niche for YouTube. So anyways, we're gonna go get dressed. The outfit that I'm wearing is so Amanda coated. It's so cute. Okay, we've got the jeans, these Levi's that I've had forever. I don't even know what kind of Levi's they are. Depending on the time of life, I hate how they fit too, but I like them right now. Then I have these white ballet flats from Revolve. This sweater from Commence. I have it in two colors. Best sweater ever. I'm obsessed. And then I have these really cute earrings from Olive Jewels. I just got like really cute stuff from them. I don't know if it's too much. No, I'm kind of into it. I feel like it's fun. I haven't eaten yet and I'm starving. I've been loving hard boiled eggs in the morning. I just like hate sometimes I'm gonna like sit down and like do the whole like cooking like a big breakfast. It just like gets in the way of my day. So I like the hard boiled eggs. Okay. I don't know if it's too much, but I kind of like it. I, yeah, I like it. That's what I've decided. All right, y'all, this is the final look. I just am so obsessed with these sweaters. I have two of them and I honestly need to get another color because I just am living in them. They're so cute. Um, okay, so Skims, Commence, Levi's, Revolve, as you guys know. I love this outfit. I am random. I just feel like I'm honestly ready to go on Nantucket, okay? Nantucket really changed me a couple years ago because I became very classy after that trip. I wouldn't say that always. I actually wouldn't even call myself classy, but like I started dressing a little bit. Maybe it was also age. I don't know. But anyways, this is the perfect outfit for Amanda. Um, I wanted to say, I just am really talkative this morning, which is good. Okay, but I got this perfume. It's by Rosie Jane. I was in Keaton's um, car in LA a couple months ago. And I was like, what do you, you smell so good, what is that? And then she's like, it's by Rosie Jane. I'm like, wait, I have that at my house. And it is the best smelling perfume ever. Oh, it's Lord Elizabeth. So, gotta go. It's 5 p.m. now. I was hoping to film a little bit today, but I had meetings, and then we recorded, and then we were shooting content, and I'm eating my Chick-fil-A. And then I need to film um, the Jacoba's base brand, y'all, and then do all my like computer work and stuff, so. It's 6.15 and I've already changed into pajamas, but I need to finish my work. I made some tea. Macy texted me asking if I wanted her to bring me over dinner. And I was like, please. And I haven't gotten a response. So I think I was being punked. I don't know if that was really happening. But I just got a little package from Tarte, which is exciting. I didn't even know this was coming. Let's see. Oh, oh it's festival season. Festival season is here. Please talk about it. I'm like, that's funny. Oh, great. It's just like, obviously, festival products. So, very exciting. I self tan last night because I was recording today and I forgot to do one of my legs. So, one of my legs is pale and the other is tan. I've never done that in my life. I'm gonna drink my tea and put my footage and all these episodes in. Good morning, y'all. I just got back from my workout. I made a smoothie. I I don't think I've shown the vlog my smoothie maker. Normally I have one that's bigger and there's a straw attached, but I couldn't find the straw, so I don't have that this morning. Anyways, it is the best blender. It's like a hundred bucks. It's clean, it looks good in your kitchen. Um, all the compartments, it's just like more efficient. I find that it makes the least amount of mess. It takes me like two seconds to clean up and I actually been making like a ton of smoothies. So anyways, that's my Amazon storefront. Love that. Today is really gonna be like a hobbies day, which is what I need. I do have a couple meetings this morning. I'm meeting in case anyone's interested in like the business end. We're meeting with some publicists for a friend of mine and then I'm also meeting with um, like a social media agency for a friend of mine. I'm just like so excited and I've been placing massive 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 orders and it like terrifies me but also massive for me massive in general like i don't need to this is the thing that i'm trying to stop doing is like downplaying or not downplaying cutting my cutting myself out or 
making myself small. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but like it's a massive order. Like I'm really excited. Anyway, so we've been doing like really big restocks and I keep placing like bigger and bigger stuff. And now that we're so close to being able to launch other products, like I'm very close to like finally, like my final approval. Um, I'm just really excited. So anyways, we've been making some moves, doing some things and I am really excited. Um, today I do want to fertilize this is what I've been looking forward to for so long. I need to get in the garden. I'm very excited. And then I need to go to the needle point store to get some more thread and I need to go to the fabric store to pick out some fabric for my needlepoint projects because my grandma finishes my needlepoint projects. If y'all are looking for someone to finish your needlepoint projects soon, she'll be open. I think we're gonna make like an Etsy shop or something. Um, she's a lot faster than everyone else. Like everyone else is like four to six months and it's like literally it'll be like $7,000 for an ornament and we'll give it to you in Christmas of 2027. That's like what that is right now. I really need to like do some spring cleaning and reset and like I honestly want to get that done sooner rather than later because I want it to be done by the time I get back from Nantucket because then all my travel picks up so I think I'm going to set aside like two days next week and just go crazy and you guys will benefit because it's going to be a great vlog. Having my smoothie, I do ritual protein, coconut water, frozen berries, and a half a banana. And it's amazing. What else should I be adding to my stuff? Sometimes I do chia seeds. Alright guys, so I'm off my calls. I'm so excited about friend of mine. Like it has been such a good distraction in my life. Um, like one, something good happening. And two, it's just like something to work on that I'm like very passionate about and I'm just so excited for it. So anyways, my art place, which I think that I maybe accidentally ordered two. I think I ordered one, forgot that I ordered it and then ordered it again, but I got the art place slow cooker, which I have been wanting that for so long. Um, I don't know if y'all know, you should at this point because I'm always talking about it, but our place is by far my favorite kitchen brand. I love their stuff. I love, yes, the design of it, but I actually just like love the pans and the use. I use them for everything. I have the knives, like this drawer right here is, you can see like pretty much all our place. The only pans I use are our place. I actually should get their cast iron stuff. That's the only thing I don't have and I definitely want cast iron for summer. But anyways, I just like love their stuff. Even all of that stuff, our place wooden spoons. I just am a huge fan. And then um, I'm actually about to run out and go on a little cute fun errand. My needlepoint projects that I need to finish up. So this one's done. Don't talk to me about the anchoring. I don't wanna talk about it, okay? But I need to take it to the fabric store to pick out the fabric for the pillow that my grandma's gonna do. When you take a canvas and bring it into, make, make it into a project, um, it's called finishing, like needlepoint finishing, and my grandma can finish mine. We're gonna go to Needlepoint this today just because it's closer to me. It grabs some threads and it's right by the fabric store um, for this one. And we're gonna go see what we can do. store it just like takes me back to my childhood because it's all I did as a kid my mom my grandma owned um, a bedding and drapery company my mom owned it my mom, grandma was a seamstress 
and I would always grow up like at their shop so I would like be making like I would do like purses and stuff but I was like working for them aka I was cleaning everything and like the ribbon and the trim and organizing it and whatever so anyways it's very nostalgic I can like smell it so anyways I got a bunch of different fabrics um you if you're interested in doing this go to the fabric store and ask for the remnants because that's where everything is that's cheap and like you aren't gonna have to hot like you can't order like a bolt of stuff and even if you get it by the yard like a lot of stuff like at rutherford's it's more expensive like, it's like a hundred something dollars a yard and i'm like ah, no so this is my favorite and this is the one that had the most amount of fabric like you just never know because like for example this doesn't have much fabric at all but this one has a ton and this is like 15 dollars. this was 10 dollars. i got this i don't even know what i would use it for but i just thought it was cute and i'm like it, you might as well get it because it's so inexpensive i got all this fabric for like 50 bucks um this just like very nostalgic to me like we definitely had this fabric somewhere and i don't know if i hate it or if it could be really cool if i got like a like more western vibe but not like western chuggy you know and then this one had a ton of fabric so i got this but it's a little bit more white than i would like but i think it could be good and also my grandma might want to use it for some of her projects this one and this one so um successful day at rutherford is just not as successful as I would have hoped, but Mike is coming up next week and we have to go shopping anyways, so hopefully I'll get that then. If you're interested in getting into needlepointing on my blog, which by the way the blog is launched, um, we have an entire post of how to get into it, how to learn a video. It's literally so easy. All you have to do is a continental stitch. It is so easy. Okay, so here are my hydrangeas. As you can see, rough. These pots, by the way, are at home. I am an at home girl till I die for pots, but Anyways, it's really wet. I got this aluminum sulfate because this is what you're supposed to do. Apparently, when your hydrangeas are like losing color, I need to check the pH. Wait, where did I? Oh. I just happened to have pH strips because. All right, let's just see how this goes. I need a constro control strip. I feel like I'm in school. Okay, it's very blue. I'd say about 240. Let's see what this says. Okay, what does 240 mean? Guys, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm just gonna wing this one because it doesn't even give me the right amount. Okay, no, this is not for you. You've gotta be kidding me. Guys, ugh, no wonder it's so, the actual hole has the plastic part in it still. No wonder. Oh my god, no wonder my hydrangeas are dying, okay? I made that mistake with my first plants. I didn't realize that my pots didn't have a hole at them because, or at the bottom of them, because why would a pot come without a hole at the bottom of them? I mean, you don't water every single, or you don't need that for every single pot, but still. Honestly, I'm not loving how my snapdragons are looking over here. Not one bit. They're supposed to have pink flowers on them. And I did zinnias last year and they lasted forever. And then the zinnias died in the frost. And then I went through and didn't have zinnias. And I hate how I planted that one. I don't know. I might be making some changes there. The trees are also bothering me. I just really liked them. But anyways, we're going to hope that this hydrangea like comes back to life. I do have some hope there.
Okay, I want to plan even more things back here. So like, what should I put here? I could probably fit another like four foot raised bed if I just move these rocks a little bit, but I don't know if that's excessive as I look back at this. Um, I haven't planted stuff in that last bed still just because I am being like way too serious about it because my last bed that has space, I have so much more soil left. I don't even think I would do logs. I think I would just throw all the soil in or I will be using this soil for my pots over here, which let me show you. Okay, so all of these pots, again, are obviously at home as always, but they don't have holes on the bottom, which is why my last stuff died in there and I just like didn't realize. So I need to get a different drill bit so I can drill a hole in the bottom because the way I did it with the other ones, I guess it's like not how you're supposed to do it or something. I don't know, but um, I don't know if this is dead or... Oh no, it isn't. Okay, let's try that. I've cleared the water in the pool, but it just looks dirty because the bottom of the pool is dirty with all the dirt. I cannot wait until I'm in the pool every day. Like, I will literally be out here 24-7. I'll be reading, I'll be needle pointing. Like, come every day at 5 p.m., I'll be in the pool. This is growing a ton. Dill's growing. Wow. Oregano is slow. Wow, okay. Evening, so I'm off to my dad's. We well, I normally need a point there and then we get dinner. But um, he wants to need a point, and I don't know if I told you guys this already. Basically, he's like girl dad vibe, but just like wants to do something with me. This is what I keep doing. So I got him like a Pittsburgh Steeler little ornament thing to need a point. He's not gonna end up liking me doing this, and he's not gonna continue to do it. But I got this canvas from Morgan Julia Designs a couple months ago. So I'm bringing him this one to see if he can do it because the other one's not in yet. Um, I have a snack, my chips, I have my needlepoint project that I'm working on, and I'm bringing the pups, and we're going to go on a little walk, and then order dinner in needlepoint, and then I'll be back later, but it's a very chill Wednesday night, um, I feel so peaceful, all because I was one with the plants earlier, you know? back from Pilates and I'm really cozy because today we are fertilizing and then I might start organizing my house for my next video. We'll see. I went to 7 a.m. Pilates. It was really nice. My outfit is really um, something. Okay. It's cozy. Because remember guys, I did only self-tan one of my legs so I had to self-tan the other. So this one is currently tanning and we're going to go fertilize. First I'm going to make a smoothie with my smoothie maker I was telling y'all about. It is, oh, oops. See, this one has a straw, but I can't find the straw or that wet. So we're just gonna use the normal one. Anyways, it's the best smoothie maker I've ever had. So I will link it below. And it's a really stunning one.
I'm gonna give y'all a little garden update. I post a lot more garden updates. Well, just in real time on my TikTok. I can see the text in if y'all are interested. Eggplant, you know, I think it's, it's doing its thing. Cucumber, we'll see. Lots of carrots. Um, and then we have some sweet peppers, not many. My lettuce is really just a mess. I feel like I should have kept this like in the seedling stage longer. I don't know if it was necessarily ready. Um, we also have some spinach. These are mixed up. Like, I don't really know what's going on here. And we lost a tab, so I don't know exactly what kind that is. I'll have to look at my seed packets. Tomatoes, which this is definitely not how you're supposed to plant tomatoes. So I'll have to figure that out. I don't even know what this is because my white tab fell out. So anyways, and then we have onions. They look dead to the naked eye, if you will. If you guys are a podcast listener, you get it. Um, but I Googled it, and apparently, like, these are supposed to flop over. So that's good. And, like, this has grown so much. It's going to be so crazy when I harvest these, and there's literally onions there. Like, I totally, don't get me wrong, I understand that's how gardening works, but it's crazy to see and to do it yourself, you know? And then this is where I did the chaotic method for the cut flower garden. And I keep saying, like, watch this one that I spent such minimal effort on end up being the one that does really well. The lighting's pretty bad, but it's starting to sprout a ton. Yeah, I just, you, I mean, it's what it sounds like. You just throw a bunch of seeds in here and see what happens. And apparently it works really well. So anyways, that's that. All right, y'all, it's been real. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I made quite the mess outside, so I need to go fix that. And then I think I'm going to start on my organizing spring reset video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you made it to the very end of this video, comment onion. I don't know. Love y'all. Bye.